My, my question for the panel then is, what's the time scale from receipt of a manuscript to when it gets published? Check. That's my number six out of the way. Uh, it all depends uh, on whether that is a manuscript that's for a special issue or you've got a deadline and you have them all coming in and they really have to go through uh, or things just don't get into that special issue uh, and we can do it in six months. That's, that's really the minimum. Uh, but there are other uh, manuscripts that are uh, around a lot longer than that. Uh, and increasingly, uh, in social sciences, we're using the online early, early view uh, system so that we can put those on the web with the DOI uh, and make them available. A document information uh, number. Uh, this is a new way of citing web-based work. Because uh, you don't have a volume, don't have pages yet. Mm -hmm. It's not in print, but it's out there on the web so that it means that it's available even if it's not uh, printed. Now, this is stuff that has been vetted, though, is that right? Oh, absolutely, so vetted and okay, proved so and, getting and everything. Sort. Yeah. No, I, I don't think I would have much more to add than uh, we, we don't use that system of the, of the web. Uh, but uh, in terms of, of timelines, yeah, I, I think the, the answer would be it depends. I mean, we, Certainly, we, in, no, I was just going to say, in my, in my era of Renaissance studies, I mean, th things, things can sometimes take years and not not yeah. because uh, anything is going really more slowly than it should simply because things are lined up per issue and uh, you know you, you might be slated to be published well, two years true. down the road. In, in the Renaissance we <laughs> could accept that. <laughs> <laughs> but for <laughs> <laughs> time, the early modern right. <laughs> I, I would say in, in, in the ethnic journal we, we would shoot for six to eight weeks to get you a response. Mm. Uh, so that you know that it's either been accepted, revised and resubmitted, or rejected. For my own journal, I would say the same, about six months. And, and, and that's, I think, something that we perhaps don't tell prospective authors enough, because I often get fairly anguished letters from people at various stages in their career. Perhaps they're just finishing their graduate work, they're starting to apply for jobs, Perhaps their assistant professors and are up for a tenure or review. Um, perhaps they're going for, for promotion and they really need to kind of be able to document on their CV a, an, either a publication or an accepted publication. And sometimes authors feel that if they've just kind of submitted it, um, you should be able to make a decision fairly quickly, <coughs> like within the next couple of weeks. Uh, and then it should come out kind of at the next issue of the journal. So they don't often appreciate this quite significant time lag. How closely do I have to follow the format restrictions, for example, the length, the bibliographic citations that are being imposed by a particular journal that I'm submitting my paper to? To the letter. <laughs> Rigidly, ruthlessly, to make it's life easy for your editor who's working hard enough. And now that we've got EndNote, that's getting much easier than it used to be in the old days. So if you're, if you're submitting to Ian's journal, keep that in mind. <laughs> Well, adult educators are a little more flexible than that, but certainly, uh, certainly you have to pay attention to the guidelines. One of the main reasons that manuscripts get uh, sent immediately back to the authors uh, and, and not sent out for review is if they don't significantly follow the guidelines. And often that's kind of missing, missing, reference, missing list of, of references or, or a significant shift in, uh, in the size. We normally accept manuscripts of somewhere between six and 8,000. And I can be fairly liberal. If it's 5,850, I don't mind that. But when it's 14,000, then, then you know, clearly somebody thinks, well, somebody else is going to do the work of editing. And, and nothing kind of pisses off an editor or the editorial <laughs> board more than having to do the author's work for them. You know? I mean, as, as it's been said before, we all have day jobs. You know? I'm an associate dean. I've got kind of lots of things to deal with. You know? So I don't have a lot of time to do author's work work for them and I think authors sometimes uh, don't recognize that uh, and to be fair this is usually a problem from scholars outside of Canada 
uh, who perhaps sometimes send manuscripts to our journals that either have nothing to do with geography or adult education, but also kind of don't, clearly they haven't read the guidelines and don't follow that. that that's, that's the major issue for me. Well, if I answered my own question, the answer would be yes. Not quite as ruthlessly <laughs> specific, but, Don't get rigid. but come damn close rigid. to it. Uh, I mean, think about it. The, the journal itself has spent time, there's historical time, which has discussed amongst itself the norms of what it wants to project publicly about itself. And it has talked about the rules and regulations and formats about its journal. So it's not like some, there's some kind of capricious uh, dictate by the editor of the day who says, well, you've got to follow these rules and, and not these other rules. So it's trying to present itself an image and distinction to, with regards to other kinds of journals. The second thing is that if you submit a, a paper that doesn't fit the format in terms of length, style, and so forth, the first response of the editor is, and perhaps the reviewer, is, ah, so it got rejected by some other journal, mm -hmm. and they're just putting it in another envelope and sending it to us. Mm -hmm. Not a good way to start your career in terms of, of making a submission to, uh, to a journal. So I would say that you should follow the rules very closely. If it says 8,000 words, then come in at 7,943. Don't come in, as Ian said, or Tom said, mm -hmm you know, 14,000 words. Because if it's 14,000 words, as editor, I will pick up the paper and send it back to you saying, cut it down to the appropriate time. Because I think Tom's right. You don't want the reviewers to be telling you what it is important and what's not important in terms of what to cut out. So you need to give some thought about that in terms of following the format. Do you really need the four tables? Could you reduce four into two? Do you need two tables? You know, what kind of bibliographic references do you need? Do you, you know, if you've got 14 pages of bibliographic, do you really need the 1948 citation? Is that really important? So you have to give some thought about what it is that you're going to present. 